According to Ohm Scobie, who wrote the new book Endgame, Princess Michael of Kent stated that Meghan Markle has turned everything into a race since that's what people do these days. Apparently paraphrasing the royal, Harry and Meghan's chief supporter remarked well, we already had a pretty good idea of what someone like her would be like. During a meeting in a Kensington Palace flat in March 2021, I foresaw it. Princess Michael of Kent, the late Queen's first cousin's wife, was unable to resist engaging in rumour about Meghan with her help. The article said, Prince Harry's wife, Princess Michael, has never been a big fan, before asserting that the 78-year-old royal claimed Meghan has turned everything into a race since that's what everyone does these days. The remarks were allegedly exchanged following the revelation of the Sussex. During Princess Michael of Kent's Oprah Winfrey interview, she faced criticism for wearing a contentious blackamoor brooch to the Queen's Christmas lunch in 2017. This was Meghan's first time attending the event, and some people perceived it as racist. At the time, Princess Michael issued a public apology, and the palace issued a statement expressing her sincere regret and distress over any offence caused. Days before Christmas, the royal was spotted driving through the palace gate and booking office while wearing the jewellery on her coat. She wasn't seated at Meghan's table, but rather introduced to her at the private gathering of Blackamoor original figurines, small sculptures, or jewellery that mostly feature men but occasionally feature women with black skin from the 18th century. Many of these pieces will be valued at £10,000 or more. In addition, according to the Sussexes in Scooby's book Endgame, there were two members of the royal household who voiced concerns about Archie's skin hue. The first time Meghan Mull said this was in 20021, during an interview regarding the couple's 2020 departure from the royal family with famous interviewer Oprah Winfrey. Meghan stated to Oprah that when she was pregnant, a family member had voiced concerns about the tone of the son's skin. There were discussions about how black his complexion would be at birth, Meghan said to Winfrey. In response to the latest allegation, Lady Colin Siebel E stated that Scobby is just as truthful and accurate as Meghan and Harry. ADC noted that Meghan had it when she was pregnant with Archie and Harry had it prior to their marriage, thus Meghan and Harry couldn't even agree on who said what, when, or where during the Oprah interview. One individual expressed concern, and now two have been identified. Dealing with people who just grab stuff that will be column inches shows a complete lack of regard for facts. All of this is about creating a lot of noise with empty containers in order to get notoriety. A further assertion made in Sko's book claimed that Prince Harry was once called by King Charles. I believe it was quite anodic to call Harry an idiot, but from what I gather, he called him much worse. Let's face it, he could have called him a traitor or disloyal, so calling him a fool is really a moderate accusation, Bell said. It is, in my opinion, one of the few plausible things in the entire collection of snippets.